Hey guys, it's Rich here at the Ultra Motorsports uh, Restoration Shop this time today. Um, we are taking a look today at this 81 uh, Mazda RX-7. <clears throat> this is a um, very original, very well represented car uh, in very good condition. Uh, we'll do what we always do and do a quick video walk around of the car just kind of pointing out anything that we see that uh, that I see personally as um, uh, just to give some transparency to our potential buyers online um, that uh, you know just so um, the car is, is represented accurately so like we always do we're going to start right here at the driver's side uh, front uh, fender and just do a, a quick walk around this is like a 56,000 original mile car uh, I've got window sticker, I've got books, I've got um, original wheels, original spare, original toolkit. I mean, this is really, really very original, well-represented car. So, um, pretty exciting car uh, because, you know, for this dollar amount of car, someone to have really had that foresight to baby this thing and really take care of it and go through the trouble of, you know, rust-proofing it and making sure that it stayed in very good condition uh, is pretty, um, pretty impressive. So let's take a look at this thing real quick. <clears throat> uh, at first glance, and, and I will say this, I do believe that this is all original paint on this car with the exception of very a few areas which I'll, I'll make note of real quick. But uh, all the metal on the car seems to be original and seems to be um, with original paint on it. So I think maybe these pinstripes are, they're just tape and I think they're an aftermarket or a, you know an add-on afterwards that somebody liked. Um, I think they look tasteful, they are well done, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> but uh, we'll take a look at the whole car anyways. So uh, glance down the side of the driver's side of the vehicle, uh, nothing to make a lot of note of, looks real, real good, no waves, no door dings, nothing like that. Um, as we come around to the front of the car, I think maybe this bumper has been painted, okay? Uh, this is just my, my professional opinion, um, I see a couple little... Um, fish eyes and stuff in this in this paint which <clears throat> so whether or not this was this just fades because it's plastic faster and someone just just color matched it which the color match is just spot on I mean really nice uh, or whether or not they it was black to begin with I, I really have no idea but it I believe this has been painted um, all the rest of this seems to be like original paint I can't find any tape lines anywhere or anything like that or any orange peel anything that would make me think it's been painted on the hood of the car, so here's the thing. I'll go over a couple of the blemishes on the vehicle. I'm standing right, you know, my knees are almost touching the hood of the car right now, okay? And I've got my camera at about um, eye level. Um, you can see right about here, there's a small blemish in the car, and I'll kind of um, uh, roll in here so you can get some, some perspective. This is really a bummer. This little uh, scab kind of formed on the car uh, right there on the hood, and I've got one here, okay, and then I've got one very small one here. That's really all I see on the hood of the car, okay? I have touch-up paint for this car. I can touch it up if you like. Um, the only other thing you could do is, is pull the pinstriping and just paint the whole hood. You'd pull this pinstriping here and just paint the whole hood, which, uh, you know, we can do that too. Um, moving on down the driver's side of the car, uh, uh, aftermarket Koenig wheels. I do have the original Mazda wheels over here. Uh, as we move uh, down the driver's side, all the plastic and bumper and rubber rail looks really nice. Um, tires are in excellent condition. The fit of the car looks great. I don't think the car has ever been apart. <coughs> back to the back bumper. Uh, same thing. This bumper has for sure been painted. So it was either like a, a Mazda thing that the quality of the car or the bumpers didn't, the paint didn't hold up to the car or maybe it was black, I, I have no idea of really knowing. So, um, <clears throat> around to the back side, I don't see any, any cracks in the bumper or any spider web. All the lights on the car look great, the lenses look good. Uh, as we move around to the, re to the passenger side rear quarter, no dents, no dings, no rust bubbles anywhere, not down low, anything like that. A removable roof on the car. Uh, that fits great and, and uh, seems to seal properly. Passenger side of the car looks very good. I don't see anything even down low, any rust bubbles or anything like that. I do have pictures of the underside of this car and, and, and we can put it on the lift here and do another video too. Um, but it's in very, very good condition. So 
Moving around to the front passenger side, um, fender of the car, everything looks very nice. No rust bubbles, um, no bad spots. So, okay, make you guys dizzy here, but we'll walk on around to the driver's side. All the weather stripping looks super supple and like brand new. Okay, very good condition. Driver's side door panel looks great. Nothing to, to make note of. Sill plate looks great. Carpet looks very good. Driver's seat, a um, couple little spots. I got one spot here and one spot here. Okay, bolster looks like it's in excellent condition. Um, lower seat bolster looks like it's in excellent condition as well. Carpet's in great shape. Console, very nice. Dash is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's, it's like perfect. So, uh, aftermarket Alpine stereo, um, fits nice, looks like it was installed properly, but no cracks in the dash whatsoever. Everything looks very nice, okay? Uh, mileage is at 56, 492. Steering wheel looks great. No cracks anywhere, no cracks in any of the um, vinyl or plastic, so. Back seat area, or excuse me, back uh, cargo area looks very nice. I'll open the back hatch so you can see in there. Um, it looks like maybe a little bit of sun fading. So, looks like just a little bit of sun fade right here and right here. Uh, just That's the old spare, original spare, excuse me, and the original toolkit in there. So that's a plus, I mean, that's a good, that's really nice to have with this car, for sure. Uh, all the weather strip looks very supple and in good shape. <coughs> Passenger side, door panel is in excellent condition. And it, you know, again here, let me, so when I say this is original paint, I really, tr really believe that. You know, I mean, you can't, there's no tape lines, you can see where the car's never been apart. I mean, it's just, this is my professional opinion, of course, but, um, I think I'm right. So, sill plate looks great. Passenger seat, passenger seat's in excellent condition. So, really nothing to make note of there. Okay. Let's open up the hood. Okay, there it is, rotary engine. Real clean engine compartment in this car. Um, I have driven this car, it does run and drive nicely. Uh, everything everything seems to work on the car. Uh, everything that I've tried, um, I can get a full vehicle inspection for a potential online buyer or a potential buyer if we need to. So again, uh, a lot of original pieces and original parts on the car. You can see all this here. I don't see where the car's ever been apart or any tape lines or anything like that. So real nice representation of the vehicle. And again, for what it is, I think it's a very, very original piece and, and in very good condition, okay? Um, just to recap, uh, there's really only a few items that I saw in the car. One, um, obviously the little, the little scab on the hood, um, the burn in the driver's seat, and the sun fading in the back. Uh, all those things can, can be corrected relatively easily and, and probably for a, a very small amount of money. Um, the bumpers, you know, like I say, I, I think you have to be a professional to, the, the color match is spot on, but I think you have to be a professional to even know that these bumpers have been painted. That's if, you know, if, uh, whether it's a good thing they're painted or a bad thing they're painted, I don't know, but they do look, look very nice. So, 1981 Mazda RX-7 uh, here at Ultra Motorsports. Uh, check us out online or give me a call personally. My name is Rich and my phone number is in the ad for this car on our website. Thank you very much.